Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and run my mouth for a quick second. Now, listen. I left work early. <laughs> Again. Hello. Girl. But tonight, I actually had permission to leave. I just didn't leave on my own. It wasn't nothing to do. So my assistant manager told, I told my, asked my assistant manager, can I leave after I, after I do this? And he was like, yeah, you can go home. So I was like, oh, great. I can go home, watch Love and Marriage Huntsville, and then make a couple of more videos, and I'll be good. So stopped at Chipotle, got me something to eat, came right on home. Ate my food, started watching Love and Hip Hop, Love and Hip Hop, Love and Marriage Huntsville, girl, phone ring. Like 10 minutes into the episode. I wasn't going to answer the phone. I said, girl, just answer the phone. Because <laughs> I don't want to hurt her mouth. So, girl, I answered the phone. Girl, my intentions were to stay on that phone for just a few minutes, you know. Get the pleasantries out the way. Girl, how the kids doing? How you doing? How the husband doing? Okay, girl, right? Uh-huh. Okay, all right, well, girl, I gotta go, right? That was the whole plan. Now, girl, I don't know how a few minutes in my head turned into four hours and four minutes later. <laughs> four hours and four minutes later was when I got off the phone. This is ridiculous. Like, girl, it ain't nothing in this world that you should be on the phone for four hours and four minutes. But when you get two messy helpers on the phone and all they want to do is kiki and laugh and giggle and talk about some people, then, girl, that's what you get four hours and four minutes. So here I am, four hours and four minutes later, ready to talk about some more people. Girl. What's going on with Kelly Price? I got a secret is here in my heart And I can't even tell my friends How much I adore you I'm falling apart I gotta keep it within The way that I love you Wait, my cover is blown Hey, that's the old school Kelly. That's the old, that's the old school Kelly. The old, the, only the old school girls know about the old school Kelly. What's some of the new Kelly? Ooh. Okay. Dun, dun. Um, wait. You're not my dad. Wait. You're not my daddy. You're my man. And I think it's time you understand. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's not my daddy. That's from the um, Kelly album, I believe. Then conversations with her, with what's her name, Algebra, Al Algebra. I can't, I can't pronounce her name. I can't remember her name. Anyways, where's Kelly Price at? This sounds real weird and crazy to me. Um, the only thing that we know, and pre pretty much everybody knows the story. Again, I, I was trying to bring this to y'all earlier, but you know. Um, she checked in, I'm sorry, she made a video on the 29th of July, and she announced that she had just found out she had the 19. Now, according to TMZ, um, her symptoms, they got worse, and so she went to the hospital about a week later. She was in the hospital for about three weeks, but she wasn't fully recovered. She was in ICU, and all of a sudden, girl, they say, hey, I'm back. I'm sorry, y'all. So, basically, her kids came to visit her um, several times, and then, this, then she, was this, she was discharged from the hospital, even though she wasn't fully, um, fully healthy. And since then, from what I understand, no one has heard from her. Not her kids, not her sister. Um... A statement was released by her attorney saying that she was fine. Um, they did a welfare check and they said everything turned out fine, but they still listed her after the welfare check as missing. So after the welfare check, they listed her as missing 
with the National Crime Information Center, even though they said the welfare check went okay and that it wasn't any suspicious play. Her sister came out and basically said that, you know, again, they haven't heard from Kelly. Now, I don't know how close, you know, because I had a conversation with my sister and brother-in-law last night. I don't know how close Kelly is with her sister, you know. I don't know. I don't know anything about Kelly Price and her personal life. I know her songs, right? But I don't know nothing about her life. And I know how she acted a fool on RB, uh, RB Divas, but we're not going to talk about that because we don't know what's going on with Kelly, so we're not going to bring up the negative from the old, from the past. Um... That's about it. I know she's not made for reality TV. Baby Kelly is in. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. This is not this is not the part to be messy. But um, yeah, I don't know y'all. I don't know Nikki Nikki Gilbert. <laughs> Shout out to Funky <laughs> Nikki Gilbert came out and made a video. And let me play the video because the video was very confusing to me. Um, you know, I'm not the smartest, but I'm not the slowest either. And I felt like she was talking in circles. Like, girl, what is you talking about? Right? So let's listen to what Nikki Gilbert, <laughs> shout out to Funky again, had to say um, about Miss Kelly. We have to be really careful about our opinions and innuendo and rumor and all the other stuff because um, this thing with Kelly Price, her her children are, are genuinely concerned for their mother. Her sister, Sean Ray, genuinely concerned for her sister, her only living sister. So um, we got to be easy about what we just run with and what the headlines are and what's left out and what's put in the fine print. I think the most important thing we can do, especially at a time like this when so many people really are missing and so many young girls, you don't have to be a big celebrity like Kelly Price. Young girls in the hood around the way are missing and oftentimes we just chalk it off as nothing. So I think we should just wait until the family, her sister, her daughter, her son, or the authorities say that Kelly is safe and sound. We are hoping that she's just tucked away. We just need the proper authorities to say that they have located her and she is fine. Everything else is irresponsible. And black people are really missing in real life in this world. Now, did that make sense to any? Because it felt like, I don't know. This was, I don't know. It felt like she was talking in circles. Like at one point it was a... You know, we, I'm not going to believe it until I hear from Kelly, but there are black girls missing. And we, so are you saying she ain't missing and you don't talk to her? Like, what's tea, Nikki? Girl, that's why some people need to shut up, girl. Because you really ain't make the situation no better, in my opinion. But it's just my opinion, and my opinion don't mean too much, okay? Anyway, so I'm going to tell you somebody who we have found. Oh, we. Girl, Miss Wendy Williams. Girl, y'all. When I tell y'all, when I saw this clip of Wendy Williams in the back of this car, <laughs> baby, Wendy, girl, y'all know I love me some Wendy Williams, but the truth is the truth. When I tell you, Wendy looked like she had just got caught hitting the pipe for the first time. When I tell y'all, baby, the way Wendy eyes got big, and she got, girl, she leaned back in that seat real fast, like, Girl, you could have sworn. Wendy, all you doing is smoking a vape. But I guess you don't want nobody to think that you smoke cigarettes. I don't know. I mean, I know it's, it's a, vape, a vape is not necessarily a cigarette. Is it a substitute for a cigarette? That's what I always thought a vape was. With people who smoke cigarettes and they still needed to put something in their goddamn mouth. And so that was a substitute. I don't know. Or people who just, I mean, they said monster. Girl. Was it monster vaping? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to play the clip <laughs> so y'all can see. When I tell y'all I died hollering, let's play it. Wendy looked like somebody had just walked in on her in the restroom and she was doing a line. Wendy looked like somebody was snapping a picture and baby, she was baby lighting that pipe up. Wendy, girl, Wendy looks good. She looks normal to me. The shovel hair, girl, that's, you know, eyes poking out. 
That's how she always looks. So she looks she look normal to me. Hopefully Wendy is okay. Hopefully Wendy is okay. Mm. Anyways, the next person we're gonna talk about is Mike the Situation. Girl, y'all know I don't really talk about Mike the Situation. Not really, girl. I don't think I've ever talked about this man a day in my life, but we're gonna talk about him today. So anyways, Mike posted online this right here. Don't come to my house. Oh, and if y'all don't know who Mike the Situation is, Mike the Situation is this white guy. Remember Jersey Shore? Now, I do follow Vinny, and his name Vinny with his little fine white ass. Yes, girl. But yeah, I don't know nothing about no Mike. I know he went to jail or prison for like, um, what? Um, taxes or something like that. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I don't think it was anything like, girl, killing nobody or nothing like that. Um, but yeah, he went to prison, I think, for like a year or two. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is Mike, the situation. This is what he wrote on Twitter. Don't come to my house. Yeah, I think it was Twitter. Don't come to my house unannounced. Baby sleeping in a pandemic and expect everything to be peaches. And then someone named Jeffrey Durr wrote on Instagram, what kind of dude calls the cops on his own brother? Despicable. Baby, and then Mike came back and said, a responsible adult protecting his family from an estranged family member who has fall prey to mental illness from a long-term meth addiction. A rational adult who just put down his baby to sleep at 8 p.m. and the doorbell was ringing obsessively at 8.30 p.m. A responsible dad who already filed an harassment claim on his estranged brother and July, and this was his this was the second harassment claim. I choose not to have the cops arrest him because him because him pain and not check off I mean wait. I choose not I cho wait, I choose not to have the cops arrest him slash cause him pain and not check off the box for the temp restraining order. His behavior has been despicable for months. My whole family has him blocked not just me even my mother and what does that say we just want we just want him to get help and he is refusing in conclusion go fuck yourself let me tell y'all something <laughs> baby I'm, I'm i'm with the white boy on this one i'm with mike <laughs> i'm with mike i'm with mike everybody know that you don't go to nobody's house unannounced okay family or not okay and then you damn sure know you don't go to nobody's house unannounced when you on that shit. Okay? Now, everybody know. Everybody know that. Everybody know. You don't go knock on nobody's house. You don't go to nobody's house when you on that shit. Because the first thing I want to know is why is you here? Because, girl, the first thing we're going to ask, we're going to go to the door. What's up? Hey, good. You know, <laughs> you know how the girl be acting, girl. You know how the girls be acting when they be, you know, when they on that, when they on, the, when, they on the, when they on that stuff, girl. They come to your house. Hey, what's up, cuz? Hey, what's up? How, 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 how you doing? I'm, I'm fine, nigga. It's three thirty in the morning. I, I was just coming to see how you was doing. I'm good. How, how my little cousins doing? How my little cousins doing? They fine. All right, I'm gonna talk to you next week. I just want to come and just holler at you. Okay, I'm good. And then you slam, you slam, you slam the door in their face. Right? And then the next day you call your mama. Mama! Motherfucker, come to my motherfucking house. Watch your mouth. No, 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 no. That motherfucker come to my motherfucking house at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> now mama got to go get, now mama got to go get, go get the husband. James, come talk to your son. Girl, I'm with Mike. 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 You come to my house, ring in my doorbell after I just put this goddamn baby down. Hello? And if she wake up, your ass ain't gonna be nowhere to be found. So one, don't come to my house again unannounced. And then don't come to my house unannounced ringing my motherfucking doorbell. And then, damn sure don't come to my house with your ass on that shit and you probably don't want nothing but to try to steal or ask for $20. And I, and, and I ain't got either. Nothing for you to steal and I ain't got no money for you. 
So in conclusion, don't come to my fucking house. People who people who have people who are on drugs in their family. Well, I think that you should be you should be sensitive to people who are addicted to drugs. I think that that is a very sensitive situation. Um, I do think that it is an illness. It took me a very very long time to realize that. Um, but I think that while you should be sensitive. And understand that it, is an, that it is an illness. You can also love a person from a distance. Because when somebody is addicted to, addicted to drugs, there's really nothing you can do. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing nobody can do. It ain't nothing nobody can do. It's up to them. It don't matter how many times you try and put them in rehab. No matter, no matter how many, you know threats you give them it doesn't matter anyways so if the whole family has him blocked that means that the brother is girl the only time you the only time he really don't come around the only time that he can come around and people might be okay with it is family reunion time and even then girl girl here come tony Hey, what's up, cuz? Hey, how you doing? Oh, girl. About to start begging and shit. Damn. How you been, cuz? <laughs> how you been, cuz? I've been good. Now you got a fucking attitude. <laughs> mm. Oh, excuse me. I almost choked. That's what I get for talking about people. Anyways, I bet you ain't gonna stop though. Um, but yeah. So shout out to Kelly Price. Hopefully she's okay. Shout out to Wendy Williams, girl. That's why people think you on that shit. Cause girl, the way you duck back in that seat, girl. Girl. Okay. And shout out to Mike for situation. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm about to uh finish watching a girl start watching. Cause I think I'm on like 10 minutes into it. I'm about to watch uh Love and Marriage Huntsville. And then I'll probably watch it again tomorrow and then have that review up. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they call and tell me I don't have to come to work tomorrow. Um, if they do, oh my God, that'll, that'll work out so great for me. Because there's some things that I need to do in my apartment. Girl, I'm, j I'm just not getting my closet together. Girl, I had it together, but then I, I didn't get it. Then it just kind of fell apart. But I'm finally getting my closet together, trying to get it, you know, organized the way I want it to look. You know, I want stuff to be coordinated, you know, coordinated. Anyways, all right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.